All right, so uh, this is the continuing saga of the 57 Corvette, and uh, I, I felt this was, you know, co uh, sort of worth, uh, worth a, an honorable mention. Um, look, these old cars, a 57 Corvette, at the time it was built, um, the configuration of it was that it was the single fastest car in the world. And uh, so these cars were routinely raced, and of course race cars tend to get beat up fairly badly. And, and so this is an example of some accident damage that happened, only what I want you to notice here is just how it was fixed. This is the kind of fiberglass work that was done, and these are three chunks of some sort of filler that were put on the car. Now you can see how thick these, uh, these chunks are. I mean, each one is, oh, around, uh, you know, it's about around three quarters of an inch thickness. And we don't even know what this substance is. It does not appear to be um, like any sort of a polyester filler. It's almost like a roofing material. So um, our challenge in this, challenges in this car are gonna be quite interesting. The, the line here is not a factory seam. And so what, what you're seeing in this part is where this car was probably sectioned. And then even in the section, it was bad here. So that had to be replaced or, or repaired. So as we go around the car, and I'm just gonna show you what these guys are uncovering as they peel back this onion. Um, first thing you're gonna notice is the car is now mostly stripped. And that's what they're doing is surgically stripping the car. But as they do it, they continue to uncover stress cracks, problems. Um, take a look here at the hood. You can see the entire hood section has been cracked away from the front valance panel. Um, here on the side of the car, somebody had clearly done some artistic work here, but they had left uh, some fairly large gaping holes um, in the car. And here, uh, this hole was left, uh, there was a little bit of filler there and under the filler there was just some missing fiberglass. Here is an example, here's one of the patches that was put on the car and we don't know what that pattern is from, it's some sort of a mesh obviously. But take a look here and you can see the car is split along here. So when people ask me about how long does it take to paint a car, well the painting a car takes about one day, right? I mean. You can generally pull a car into a booth and paint it in about a day. But how long does it take to reconstruct all of this? See this car here, this is where the, um, the taillight mounts up here and this is where they, they call them the moon bumpers. Um, and and the, the fiberglass structure here needs to be all completely reconstructed. So, so the, the term paint a car is really incorrect when you're talking about a 50 year old vehicle. What you're talking about with a 50 year old car is how long does it take to re-engineer, reconstruct and, and redo the entire vehicle? So how many hours do you guys have so far just pulling paint off of the car? Just pulling paint off. I have the last, I have the last five days, eight hours a day. So, I'm so for, 40 hours and just removing paint. Yeah, so Wayne, how many hours do you have? 40, 40 hours. Mike. How many hours, they're over here chatting, how many hours do you have just cleaning this car so that they could start preparing it for stripping? Probably about 12 hours. 12 hours, so you know, you're talking, you're, you're knocking on 100 hours and we haven't even touched this car with fiberglass or bodywork because you, you must, when you do a car like this, uh, get, you know, peel the onion all the way down because if you don't, uh, you're just gonna have problem after problem. So I, I just wanted to, sort of take this moment and say painting a car is not painting a car painting a car is reconstructing a car and and here's an example of where a hundred hours doesn't even finish getting us to the point where we can start doing glass work so um, i'm going to say hi peyton from alaska kevin from i'm not sure if that's you're saying hi or that's from hawaii terry yeah that will buff out Terry, uh, if, if this will buff out, I'll tell you what, I will, I will give you a job buffing um, at this uh, shop. Uh, Aaron from uh, Iowa, thanks for tuning in. All right, guys, look, there's, uh, there's 365 of you watching right now, and all I got to say is, why Sam's don't you guys, go. Sam's guys, go. I've got to go because i got a customer waiting. We will talk to you all later.
but 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 get go to work, bye people. Bye. Just just go to work.